direct our attorneys to create a contract which would allow the Smiths to occupy the 10 acres at 1031 South Holly Road to which we have a quick claim deed on condition that within an amount of time to be determined by the, uh, the restrictions of the contract, they bring that property and the structures on that property up to code and that as long as the Smiths occupy that property, the township is not financially obligated to bring that property and those structures up to code. Okay, uh, motion dies for the lack of support. Uh, we'll move on to new business item number two. Oh, 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 Mr. Hoffman, we just concluded the topic because there was no motion for us. No. He asked but I explained to you, you asked me if I wanted to do at the end of my comments, and I let you, I allowed you first to see if there was a motion before I wasted any time. Okay. Um, Mr. Hoffman, can you make it? Can you make it very brief? Sure. At the last meeting I attended sometime in March, Jesse gave a public assurance that no more action would be taken on this property until it went through the Court of Appeals. But obviously, Jesse changed his mind because on June 29th, probably the hottest day of the year, happened to be Dylan's birthday, the township went out there and cut their electric and cut their water. I talked to Jesse uh, the next day after that meeting. And at the meeting, actually, I should mention that Mr. Smith stood up and said, that the taxpayers have spent over $200,000 on my medical bills. The next day I talked to Jesse, and Jesse said to me, Mr. Hoffman, can you please get Yeah. Jesse said to me, did you hear Mr. Smith's comments at the meeting? I said, yeah, why? He said, that's not the kind of people we want living in Holly Township. And I, I mean, listen, and I said, Jesse? And then he said to me, Bob, what does that sound like to you? I said, Jesse, it sounds like a couple down on their luck who are living in a camper with no insurance. And I said, thank God our society has a safety net to help people. And I've heard this township board say that, that we are here to um, protect the assets of the township. Well, the most valuable asset of this township is the citizens, and not once have I heard them say, we're doing this for the citizens. Matter of fact, they have said on a few occasions, we're doing this for the Smith's own good. They even called uh, Child Protective Services, and of course there was no finding because they're good parents and they have good children. Okay. So I, I'm not done, Jesse, excuse me. So I would like to ask Jesse, Karen and Mark to look Shayla and Dylan in the eye and tell them that you evicted them on February 27th in the dead of winter for their own good. Yeah. And I want, you to, I want you to look them in the eye. I want you to look them in the eye and tell them on June 29th, one of the hottest days of the year, you turn their water and electric off. Tell me you did that for them. And then, and then, and then, and then tell them. Not All right. Bye. And then tell them why young people should respect local government. And more importantly, why don't you tell them why they should vote for you? Or not fear local government. That's good. And here's another issue. Here's another issue when it suits the township. When the township wants to evict them, Shut off. Uh, or shut off. I'm going to uh, finish. I'm going to adjourn for about ten minutes. Come on. Uh, Come on. The people demand better. No. Then vote them no. all. No. We are going to vote them all out. Not a rail. Stop it. Stop it. Be polite and professional. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. When it's convenient for the township, they will. Mr. Hoffman, the meeting has been adjourned. For now. Well, maybe they want to hear what I have to say and you can leave. Yeah. And, and maybe we go. Maybe we go. Maybe we go. Maybe we go. Maybe for you, Mr. Hoffman. Yeah, I'm sorry. What's up for you? I can't leave. Hey, listen up. I can't leave. I don't want back and forth, okay? It, the board will make its decisions, all right? So please, respectfully enjoy the adjournment. Take your tempers down a little level. Take your attitudes down a little notch, and we'll come back and figure it out. Mm -hmm.